hello guys welcome to my channel and today we will be continuing our discussion about system dot timers dot timer so in our previous video we saw how can we, how we can use system dot timers dot timers and it can be used as a system dot threading dot timer or it can be used as system dot win windows dot forms dot timer so as we saw in our previous video we could we can use our system dot timers dot timer as a windows dot forms dot timer by just providing its synchronizing object and when what i want to show what i want to show in this that in this event we can actually use something called a message we can we can say since now this event will be raised on GUI thread, so we can directly update our labels here. So we had L, V, L output, for example, dot text equals to, we can say E dot signal time. This signal time is the date and time when this event was raised uh, and we can use it if we want to just to find out when our event was raised and let's see let's run this and you can see we can get this date and time and the next thing which I want to talk about is the is that that we talked little bit about that when we try to use or when we try to access GUI controls on different thread we get an exception which is we saw cross thread exception and if we actually comment out we if we don't provide the synchronizing object then the event will be raised on a thread pool thread and then thread this thread come here and then we are accessing this LB label LBL output and then it should raise an exception here we go invalid operation exception cross thread operation not valid how we can fix it we can fix it actually by transferring or by marshalling this call on the GUI thread and to how we can do it is the way to do it is that we can check if there is a property called invoke required on control if this is true that means this will check do we need to synchronize this call or in simple words it will check are we on on GUI thread or not and the answer is not we are not GUI thread so it will return true invoke is required and then we can we can call a method called win invoke or begin invoke invoke is the kind of blocking method where the call caller thread the one who calls will be blocked until the until your call is finished and there is another version where it's begin invoke where you have asynchronous so you the caller will not wait and we can do it invoke and then it takes delegate any object which is a delegate we can create our own delegate here private which returns void and it should match this because that's the method we want to call uh, uh, we can say update delegate and the parameters should match this one like this and then we can say new update private delegate update delegate and it should be timer timer elapsed and then we pass the arguments by newing up an array object 
and it will be sender comma e and then return so it will check yes if the invoke required at the first time it will be true then it will return the next time it will come on the GUI thread and then it will check if invoke required false no it's not required then it will go further and then it will call update text message and then we can just pass here date time date time dot now dot to string or we can just pass date time dot now now it should be okay some error expected where was that here and as you can see update text level it's it is called on thread id1 which is our GUI thread and then we are updating it another way to do it actually to capture the synchronization context and that's what we are we were doing here by providing synchronizing object this we can do it another way and I mean we can invoke or we can call this method on our GUI thread in another way and the way is that we can capture private synchronize synchronization context sync context and we can capture it here like this sync context equal to synchronization context dot current and remember we are using it now we are using our timer as a system dot threading dot timer and then here we just comment it out then we can say sync context dot it has few methods but the interesting ones are post and send post is asynchronous it's like begin invoke and send is like synchronous the blocking like invoke and it takes send or post callback so we send or post callback equals to new send or post callback and this will be our update text label update text label and then we call it update send or post callback comma and then we get date time dot now and then we don't need this here it's the same the synchronization context actually captures the current context and current context means it will capture the current thread where we, we where we call it so in windows forms you get this current context which is GUI thread and then you can use it can be useful then you then you can pass it around you can pass this synchronization context to some other API or whatever in some other DLL and then you will capture this another thing I want to mention is it was like post when we are using post that means we are not waiting the so the caller thread will not wait here let me show you the example we have here button click and we are calling update label here if we just remove this false update label thread pool thread then we are calling printing update label enter update text label sync synchronization context here and then we are calling send is the blocking 
we can see that if we block it if we block our thread like select say for five seconds then the calling thread which is update level is calling this this will be blocked until this one is finished let's see and if we look at you see update label enter we got the enter at 27 and this was done and then it waited five seconds after work because it was sleeping and but if we change it from send to post which is asynchronous it will be finished immediately button done here the caller is done immediately the caller is update level enter calling this one and here after yeah so these are two things I wanted to mention here post and send okay yeah sorry that that was wrong we have to that was this method where we need to put the sleep because that's the actual method if you use post so this should finish immediately update enter which is this sync done and after work let's use send update enter and then done yes like I what else we can talk about so we have talked about synchronization context we talked about send and post yes so that was it for this uh, video and I think we are done with all the timers we have covered system dot threading timer and we have covered system dot windows dot forms dot timer and then we also have covered system dot timers dot timer so in our future videos we will be covering other aspects of multi-threading programming like race conditions deadlocks and weight handles mutexes semaphores event handles locks monitors these kind of things so until then Bye-bye.